Gold is beautiful no matter what size it is, but fractional gold is very controversial. So maybe it's time we take stock and rethink this precious metal in sizes under an ounce in this video and in this market as we explore. It is essentially a new gold market. Spot prices have been climbing dramatically, breaking new all-time highs. With a pullback here and there, and a major pullback fairly recently. Who knows where the price is by the time you see this video. That's how volatile things are. Notwithstanding, premiums have come down on fractional gold. Now, there, has, there are many videos about fractional gold, even just on this channel alone. And there are, it's a nuanced discussion because you can make an argument for stacking fractional gold and you can also make an argument against stacking it. And as you can see here, I have an, a fair amount of fractional gold pieces and I do plan on getting some more. My strategy is shifting a bit um, as the, as the uh, prices have gone up. I'm still buying one ounce sizes, but very, very infrequently comparatively, and I'm finding some fairly decent deals on some of the fractional gold pieces. Uh, but one ounce of gold is a, is a very tough thing to, to wrap your head around financially because of the massive uh, cost that it does, that it, that it takes to get one of these. I, did, I issued what is known as a golden envelope challenge some time ago to get a one full ounce of gold. But uh, it's not for everyone, and I can understand why people don't do it. But it's a good exercise in patience and perseverance when saving up. So I always encourage folks, even silver stackers, hardcore silver stackers, to get at least one ounce of gold. But the premiums have come down on most all of the sizes. And yes, including even some of the smaller bars. Now, Summit Metals is the sponsor of this channel, and I recently placed an order with them. And uh, I'm going to be filling up this little metal wallet that I got free with my order. And I'm going to show you what's inside of it. Uh, it is a, I think this is a much better way to stack fractional gold than to get one of those combi cards because you can elevate your wealth by adding uh, an ounce or a one gram of gold at a time for not a whole lot of a premium, by the way, either. And it fits inside of these little packets, these little pockets here very comfortably and very securely. And you can literally carry this thing around with you. This is a pretty, pretty heavy-duty uh, wallet here uh, that you can actually buy separately if you so desire. And uh, you can start essentially sort of a journey to fill up the wallet. So I'm going to do that with this. I'm going to try to fill this thing up with these one gram stacker bars that you can get from Summit Metals. Now, again, uh, these fractional pieces do have a higher premium. No question about that. But I think it's good to have a smaller size and a variety of sizes of gold. And especially if you can secure it in such a way where you're not going to lose it. And I can't think of a better way to do that than here, than to put them inside of this little uh, wallet here. So this is going to be a journey that I'm going to be doing, watching premiums, watching spot price. And when I place an order, uh, well, uh, I'm going to just include one of these in my order and get free shipping and add to the uh, to the wallet here. So that's one way you can do it. SummitMetals.com, they're the sponsor of the channel. So I hope you will check them out and see what they've got. And uh, you can also buy these little wallets separately if you so desire. They have 10th uh, ounce sizes, and I think they're getting other sizes for other products as well too. So stay tuned for that. But one of the things I've talked about is uh, not all fractional gold is the same. And even as such, with the premiums lowering on fractional gold pieces with the with the rise in spot price, your best bet still is going to be some of the uh, smaller pieces like this that are essentially restrikes that have been produced that are 90% gold and odd weights. This is a dos y medio pesos, two and a half pesos. Very small. This thing is just under a tenth of an ounce, I think. And then the dos pesos is like uh, less than a twentieth of an ounce somewhere thereabouts. And here's something that's a 0.1867. This is the LMU piece. These are still, and always really kind of have been fairly cheap. Uh, in other words, not a whole lot above spot price, low premiums. 
and that really has not changed much in the time. Uh, the, where you're going to pay is is going to be fractional gold uh, from higher quality uh, issued, you know, uh, quarter ounce pieces or tenth ounce pieces typically have a little higher premium to them, especially if from the Perth Mint and come in these capsules. But there have been times when you can find really good deals and sales on these pieces as well. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and obviously they do make little gram and half gram gold pieces like this. And I really wouldn't recommend getting the half gram stuff, by the way. I think that might be the line and the limit. Uh, I got this uh, just because it was kind of cool to have a piece like this. And there are things you can have for a collection, so to speak, um, or something just a little out of the ordinary. But I really would not stack these uh, in the half gram size. But uh, there are exceptions, obviously. You might find a really good deal for something like that. But uh, And at your local coin shop as well. Uh, you may find some good deals as there as well, like I did for this 10th ounce uh, gold piece. So be on the lookout there for some uh, pieces as well. Uh, and uh, so you never know what might what might come your way. Full ounce sizes are difficult, and especially in this market uh, these days. So it is understandable. But uh, I think even as such, uh, that challenge that I gave, there have been some members of this community who are on more of a limited income who actually have taken that challenge up to the tune of, you know, getting it done with about a year and a year and a half. And they're able to make the uh, purchase, even chasing the spot price in the upwards direction, still getting it done. It's pretty amazing. But there are a variety of different kinds to choose from. And uh, and you can find good deals on them. But uh, as is the case with any kind of a product, you just got to make sure it's somewhat liquid. Now, uh, I am a collector is just as much as I am a stacker. So I like to get a variety of different things um, in part also to show on the channel, because when you show different variety of different things in the channel, it kind of keeps people's interest much as like you see with some of these different products here. But uh, yes, indeed. Uh, some of these fractional pieces are also very popular and they've minted a lot of them like the 10 ounce Eagles. And again, sales can be found on them. And Summit Metals also has really good deals on fractional eagles as well. You should check out. Always shop around and see where you can get the best deal. But uh, they have been very, very competitive in this area, especially. They've really kind of focused on that with the premium, with the with the fractional eagles there. But um, it is something to think about. It is something to reassess fractional gold with prices as high as they are now. Um, and do not be afraid to venture out and to shift your strategy. And I've kind of discouraged folks from spending very, very high premiums on these on these types of products, on the fractional gold. But I'm telling you, uh, they are really uh, fluctuating now, and uh, they've been fairly low recently. So this is why I think it's a good idea to rethink your strategy and consider fractional gold these days. Um, the other drawback to fractional gold is, well, they are tiny. And you'll notice here that every single one of them is in some sort of a capsule. Um, and, you know, because you could lose these things very easily, even a 10th ounce eagle. It's a very tiny piece, smaller than a dime, about the size of a dime. So uh, you have to uh, keep up with it. And if you're going to get eagles, it may not be a bad idea to get a tube and fill that tube. Just as I have this wallet and we'll fill this wallet up with these one gram little bars here. And by the way, they're beautiful little one gram bars. So there's a variety of different ways to do it, and different strategies, different, uh, different types to be able to accumulate in the fractional gold department. Uh, but it is cool to have some gold. And for some, it's just too much to get into a full ounce right away. And uh, especially if you're nervous about where the market's going to go, and anything can happen nowadays. Uh, it did, we've we've been surprised so many times. And if you don't have any gold at all, uh, then this is a good time to get at least a little bit. And it's affordable in fractional sizes. And if you do find that the premiums are a little bit high on them comparatively, I still would not be afraid to di to dig in a little bit because any gold is better than no gold. It may take you a little bit longer to recover. Uh, some of the losses from the premiums, if the price stays kind of where it is or climbs up a little bit, or if the price goes back, it's a little bit riskier in that regard, but not by a whole lot. 
And uh, sooner or later, it's going to work itself out. Why? Well, because gold, as has always been the case, is a store of value that will protect you against inflation. And no matter what any politician says about fighting or stopping inflation, it's very rarely do we see a deflationary environment form because of it. Price, prices can go up and down, but more than likely, that's not going to affect the precious metals market a whole lot. Uh, at least in, in the me long, medium, or short, long term, or long term. In other words, a span of time that, that lasts, you know, through the span of a three to five years, gold's going to be higher then than it is now. And that's really always been the case. Gold really does continue to kind of climb up in price. And, uh, and it is the most stable store of value of all the precious metals out there. That's why central banks hold it. You can pack a lot of value in a very tiny space. And let me tell you something, folks. This is a very tiny space. No question about it. So there you have it. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below about rethinking um, fractional gold. And if you like what I do here, giving you tips and tricks and talking strategy and analysis in the world of precious metals, I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel and pressing that like button down below. It really does help the algorithm. And you can also share this video on other platforms as well. So uh, keep it, keep you have to be very agile when you're stacking precious metals. Dollar cost averaging is great, but uh, when you do make your purchase, uh, sometimes some of the strategies must shift a little bit here, and uh, we have to be agile during those movements. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch. And to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.